course. This is a lookout from Cloudcroft, and you can see some of the bikers making a pit stop in Cloudcroft on their way to Ruidoso for the big Golden Aspen bike rally this weekend. You can see the clouds building up here, and hopefully they have the rain gear with them because there are some storms brewing. And uh, just west of the Sacramento Mountains right now, there's a pretty strong storm heading that way. So hopefully, again, they do have the rain gear because here comes the storm. You can see heavy showers associated with this. Gusty winds are possible with this storm near 45 miles per hour and also perhaps even some pea-sized hail. It's heading to the east and southeast, so it should pass just to the south of Ruidoso. So we should see a few light showers up in Ruidoso and uh, it's going to head on into the Sacramento Mountains here uh, within, the, say, the next 30 to 45 minutes before moving on out and then clearing out behind that. More storms to talk about to the north and west of that. Socorro, just south of there, seeing some strong storms. Those are heading to the east as well. Light rain and mountain air. And then over near Corona, we have some stronger storms there. Those also pushing to the east. Of course, nothing going on here in the metro area. And actually, a severe thunderstorm warning just issued now on that storm headed to the Sacramento Mountains. So uh, that storm can continuing to head on to the east. That warning will go. Let's take a look and see how long this warning goes until. It goes until 6.45 p.m., so we will have to keep a close eye on that storm. It will be capable of producing winds in excess of 58 miles per hour. That's a severe storm, and also perhaps it's hail, too, so we'll have to keep a close eye on that as that continues to track on to the east. As far as the metro is concerned, things really quiet here. 74 degrees, a little breezy right now. North-northeast winds at 13 miles per hour. Uh, we'll see a few, a slight chance for a few thunderstorms to move into the metro area, but most of the activity is going to be out to the east, and this is where we're going to have to watch for the possibility of strong to perhaps severe storms, though fewer storms than what we saw yesterday. For tonight, though, once the sun goes down, the storm's diminishing, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Cool tonight, then tomorrow, nice and warm. Just spot storms mainly in the mountains and up in the four corners, and then it gets even drier for your Sunday. A lot of sunshine around, hard pressed to even get a storm going in the mountains with temperatures right where they should be. So, a really nice looking weekend ahead. We just got to get through a few more thunderstorms for tonight. For the four corners, partly cloudy, scattered thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will climb into the upper 60s for Durango, 71 for Farmington, the mid to upper 70s this weekend. South and west, partly cloudy with a few spot storms and highs in the 70s and 80s. Silver City looking at highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. Just a slight chance of a storm or two tomorrow, then drier for the next several days. South and east, warmer, slight chance for a spot storm tomorrow. Highs right around 90 for Roswell, then mostly sunny with highs around 90 for the weekend and early next week. North and east, warmer with a few spot storms and highs in the 70s and 80s. So rain chances going down here. We'll see those rain chances ramp back up again Wednesday and Thursday. Northern mountains warmer. A few scattered thunderstorms possible tomorrow afternoon with highs in the mid-70s. 73 in Santa Fe, then sunny on Sunday. And Monday, Tuesday looking dry and nice too. East mountains partly cloudy. A slight chance for a few storms there. And for the metro, partly cloudy. Warmer tomorrow. Highs in the low 80s. A slight chance we may see a stray storm. Drier after that with highs in the low 80s. So uh, things really starting to calm down. We'll have to watch for a few more perhaps severe storms out east, but otherwise things calming down once the sun goes down. Right. Thanks, Tristan.